So basically, we'll do a short interview today. Um, first, first question. We start light, right? Yes. First question. Um, can you tell us how do we pronounce your name? <laughs> oh, my name is quite a little bit uh, difficult. It's Michael Feichtenbeiner. Michael Feichtenbeiner. Yeah, yeah, okay. that sounds good. But I think uh, for for all the people here, is Coach Michael is Coach Michael. it's quite quite easier and it it fits. Yeah. Okay, so you've been here in Malaysia for a few days now. Yeah. Right. Tell us, uh, what's your favorite Malaysian food so far? So far is uh, roti canai or nasi goreng ayam. It's uh, quite quite good. Yeah. All right. Um, so how do you find the environment and the people in Malaysia so far? Yeah, uh, lucky for me, for me, uh, I had some quite good expression uh, 14 years ago when I stay here in uh, Kuala Lumpur the first time. So I remember some of this uh, uh, experience and uh, yeah, so I was very close to, to adapt to the Malaysian weather and the culture again. Yeah. So you mentioned just now, you've been here before, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. What, what are the reasons that make you want to come back? Because I had some really, I, I met some really good uh, person here. I, um, I was uh, impressed from Kuala Lumpur. I, lo I love this city and uh, so and also, when I was here, uh, I saw I saw that uh, yeah, some good clubs here, and especially Selangor was uh, one of our opponents those times. I was a coach from MPPJ, so I saw the the traditional club, the big club, and if I got the, this call uh, and the chance to come here for Selangor, working for Selangor, yeah, that that's uh, very nice for me. And very honorful. So, what about Selangor that uh, makes you want to join us? Uh, Selangor is, uh, for me, is uh, the best club, the the most traditional club, the, the 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 club which won so many trophies. So, to work for this club and help to win again some trophies in the future, yeah, that's uh, amazing. And uh, so, it's a good challenge, a big challenge. Even we have uh, uh, lots of work, but uh, yeah, that's good. So um, before this, you were in Germany, right? Um, yeah. Can you briefly share with us what were you doing in Germany? Yes, uh, the last four years, or other side. I'm coach the, since the last 30 years. So I was always head coach. Most of the time I was head coach in, in Germany or I was once in one short stint, one and a half year in Malaysia, in Indonesia, in Switzerland, in Austria. So, but the most of the time in Germany and the last four years I was the national coach for the under 17 in Germany. So I worked for the Football Federation and uh, yeah, this is most probably one of the best football nation, Germany, and to work for this federation, for the national team was very, very good. But uh, then I got an offer from uh, Red Bull Salzburg, so a very special uh, team and maybe one of the best academies in Europe, the Red Bull Academy. And I got the chance to see and to work there and to see how they do the things. And uh, so I'm always open minded. I want to make more experience. So I was there and uh, then, then suddenly for a few weeks, uh, I got the call and the chance to come to Malaysia back. So um, you're here as a technical director for uh, FA Slango, right? So can you describe your role as a technical director to help our fans understand what, what you're here to do? Yeah, so the, the board asking me to come as a technical director and to give the club a new structure, football structure and uh, a football style and uh, to, to do this structure in all the, the youth teams. And so we started in the basic, in the, the, in the grassroots until the, the first team. So now we have a feeder team after we merge with PKNS. So we have the chance with the best young talents 
to play in the senior competition in the Premier League as feeder team. And this is the final, the, uh, the final team for the youth development, in my opinion. And so we have to work with all these uh, teams to pro produce some good players for the first team. That's the, uh, our main goal our challenge and uh, so I think I have a lot of experience beside the German national team to work with the, in the academy of, Salz, of Red Bull before I was head coach and also uh, academy uh, coach in, in, in Stuttgart in a Premier League team in, in Germany so yeah I think I'm quite experienced to help uh, to get a good progress for the players in Malaysia. So in your uh, vast experience, uh, how long does it usually take for us to see results in youth development? Poor. It takes time. That's the problem. Uh, because you can't come and uh, change everything and then uh, the results will come. So we have to make a new structure after we merge. We have to... and it's up on me to coach the coaches to coach the players and for me a target is uh, to, to see a new style of football in all the youth teams for Selangor. We, are, we want to be the best academy in Malaysia. That's our, my, my challenge. I want to be the best and we produce the best player. And this is maybe two or three years it takes time. But then we should see Selangor is the best academy in the nation. Okay, so um, can you tell us maybe um, how, how is this technical director role similar to the roles that you have held previously? Yeah, I was uh, sometimes I was sport director in the second division in Germany. Uh, I was uh, as national coach, you also have to coach all the other coaches from the, co from the clubs. So as technical director, you have, uh, uh, beside my, my role as head coach of the feeder team, I also have uh, a lot of things to do with, uh, on the, in the office. So, and I like this, uh, sh to share this in, in my job. Sometimes I'm on the pitch as coach, as head coach from the feeder team. I train with the boys. Uh, with the best talent, most talented boys from Selangor, but on the other side, I can help all the other coaches to improve their players. Yeah. So, can you um, tell us briefly what's your football philosophy? My football philosophy is: uh, I I like if my uh, my players play courageously bravely they, they they should go for we want to play active active with the ball and active against the ball so we we will sure we will press high we play with transition we go very fast for the goals and in youth department if you want to progress the player if you want to develop the young players you have to push them they 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 they, they can't they, they can make mistakes but they have to work against the ball. If they lose the ball, we want e easily or immediately we want to be back the ball. Yeah. So um, you spoke about your football philosophy. So what's your approach in developing this football philosophy? How do you want to develop this with the players? With hard working, we all together. We have to. I also have to coach the coaches. So all the co the junior junior coaches. We go one way. We will discuss about who is the way, which is the way. So, but then we have uh, some guidelines in offense, some guidelines in defense, how we want to do this. And then we train on this very, very strict, very directly. And then uh, I think we can see uh, some style of football in the future. So what is your expectation for Slango in 2020 and beyond? In 2020, we, we start. Uh, I go now, I, I will go back for, for Christmas and I, I start 2020 in 5th of January with my work and with the feeder team and then yeah we up from there we want to go for the best in Malaysia and then but I think 
at least you will see some results in 2022 and uh, two in, it, it takes minimum two years, two to three years and then surely there are some good players in to see and uh, we have some players for the first team. Okay, so um, anything you want to say to Selangor fans who uh, want to hear you know, from our new technical director? Uh, so far, my remember for the Selangor fans is quite outstanding. I, I was one or a few times in Shah Alam in stadium, full crowded stadium. Uh, I remember this well. Uh, it was really outstanding. So for me, it would be very happy. I would be very happy if the fans support the first team. As this is the main focus, but also if they support our youth teams, especially the feeder team. If they can support them in the same manner, it would be great. Yeah. So last, lastly, how do you want people to, uh, here to remember you? They should remember me as a coach that uh, makes player better. I want to play, make player better and uh, if we can make, I can make uh, with my coaching staff, with my idea of football, some player from Malaysia better for the first team and success in the first team. They have and they they go for national team and they are successful with the national team. Then I uh, I'm satisfied with my work. Okay, I think that's it from us. Uh, you'll be hearing from us quite often. But, uh, <laughs> okay. Thank you for now, and enjoy your Christmas holiday, Michael. Thank you. Thank right. you. Thank you.